Hi everyone, I'm Jane and today we're going to paint a super fast, super cute ghost painting for Halloween. This is a perfect painting for the absolute beginner as well as your little art monsters. Make sure you check out the video description below for a full list of materials as well as a link to our Art Monster Squad Facebook group where you can share your version of this painting with me and our community. If you don't have the matte medium that I'll be using in this painting, that's perfectly okay. It's completely optional for this one, but I'll tell you why you might want to pick some up soon. Now let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is put a very simple background on here, and this is a brand new canvas. I haven't gessoed it or anything. I'm going to take my one inch flat brush, wet it in my jar, wipe it on the edge, and then I'm going to take a paper towel and just wipe a little extra water off of there. I'm not drying it off. But I want to use this brush a little bit drier because I'll be using matte medium to help blend the paint but also to help keep the color open a little bit longer or wet longer. That's so that when we start adding the ghosts we get a little bit of that color picked up into the white which is going to help them seem a little bit more transparent and ethereal. So I'm going to put a little bit out on my palette and I don't want to talk about why my palette's already messy. Just pretend like it's not. And as you can see the matte medium is white and it's much thicker than glazing medium but it won't affect the color of your paint and it will dry clear. So I'm going to load up with matte medium and notice I'm kind of squishing my brush into it. That helps suck the medium up into the bristles rather than just coating the outside. I'm going to come in and grab some phthalo blue and you don't have to use phthalo blue you can use any color you like for this and I'm going to grab some black whoa maybe just a little bit of white now I want to make sure that my background doesn't get too light because then otherwise my ghosts will get lost. So I'd rather have it be a little bit darker than lighter. And notice I didn't mix the medium in with my colors. I'm just going to go straight up and down to cover this background. I'm not trying to blend out any streaks or blend my colors together. I'm just covering the canvas. A little more medium and I'm going to pick up a different color combination every time. This time maybe just a tiny bit of black and maybe a little bit more white. So I first painted this painting a couple of years ago and the inspiration for it was that scene in Beetlejuice, you know, where they're looking through the window in the door at the, the lost souls that are kind of moving upwards past the window. And I really liked that movement. So that's where the idea for this came from. And the straight up and down brush strokes in the background are one of the things that's helping give the illusion that the ghosts are moving upwards. If you don't have this matte medium, like I said, you can just use your paint a little bit thicker. You can use slow dry blending medium if you like, but I like the texture of this matte medium better. And I feel like it stays open just a little bit longer, but it doesn't get sticky. I had a bunch of people complaining that the slow dry blending medium was getting sticky and I haven't experienced that at all with this one. It's got a very smooth consistency. So there's our background and before it dries we're going to add some elements here so that it really streaks into the white. But let me show you what I've been doing lately. I've been keeping two jars of water at my paint station so I can use one like this to clean the paint off of my brush when I'm done with it and then another jar to rinse it. That will help make sure that I get all of the paint out. And then when I'm done, I'll just wash my brush with just a hint of Castile soap. Right, I have this large round brush. It says it's a number 12, but again, a number 12 in one brand might be a completely different size from a number 12 in another brand. And I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit on my paper towel. The size and shape doesn't really matter. Whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you have, even if you have a very soft filbert that's about this big, that would probably work for this too. So what I'm going to do first is just add some swirls in the background. I'm going to load up with my medium, quite a bit of medium. And it's okay that I'm picking up a little bit of those colors in there. And then I'm going to get just a little bit of white. I probably have 75% medium to 25% white here. 
and notice I didn't blend it. And what that's gonna do is in some parts it's gonna deposit more white, in some parts it's gonna deposit more medium and give a real streaky, blended, ghostly effect. So I'm just gonna kinda of start somewhere and just start adding some swirls. Go back over it to soften it a little bit. And a lot of these are going to be hidden, but they'll show up behind our ghosts here and there. And just kind of crazy all over the place. Don't let them get too terribly white though, because then your ghosts will get lost in them. But see how it's streaking that background together just a little bit. If you get something that's too bright or has too hard of a line, you can just grab some medium and go back over it. And that kind of helps streak it in with the other colors. All right, now I'm gonna get my blow dryer and I'm gonna dry this just until it's tacky. I don't want it to be so, so wet when I do my ghosts, otherwise they'll look a lot like these swirls in the back. But I still wanna draw a little bit of that color in, so I'm not gonna dry this completely. All right, so some of it is quite dry, some of it is still pretty wet, and some of it is tacky. So you can hear my finger sticking to it, but I'm not pulling off any paint. So again, with my round brush and my medium, and I'm gonna use a little more white than I did on those swirls. So let's start with a ghost down here. I'm just gonna come from the top of his head around and down. Just really graceful shapes. You can let him kind of fuzz and blur out a little. I'm just gonna make sure his head is filled in nicely. I like that the medium is making some of the white transparent so you can see the background through it. And in places it's picking up the background and blending it with the white a little. Each ghost I'm gonna put in a slightly different position. So I'm gonna do another one here that's angled a little bit more. And we'll give him a little curl. If your background is too dry, but you still want some of that blending going on, just pick up a little bit of the black and the blue or whatever colors you're using with your white and you'll get a very similar effect. I just think it's a lot less work to let the background pull in rather than adding it back in. If you end up with a spot and you're using the medium where you're having a hard time blending the colors, you don't like a streak in there, again, just grab only medium and go over it. And that will help you get rid of it. Let's do kind of a small ghost. Kind of get rid of that blob. Let's do a smaller ghost up here. A little swirl on his end. Normally I wouldn't like a brush this soft to do this, but I do because it's kind of skipping on the canvas a little bit and helping me get that fuzzy look without having to work for it too much. A little more medium to fill that in a bit. And 
And then let's say that there's maybe a ghost that's already gone off the edge here. So we're not gonna do the whole ghost, we're just gonna kinda do his little flowy bits. My white was getting a little muddy. And we'll do one more little flowy bit over here, just a little. All right, I cleaned off my brush. Let's do their faces. And I'm not using medium for this part. I'm just gonna load up some black on the end of my brush. And for his face, I'm gonna just touch where his eye is, put a little bit of pressure, and then flick. So I'm not drawing a line, I'm just flicking. And his other eye. His mouth is gonna be the same, but I'm gonna put a little bit more pressure. Same thing on these guys. As they get bigger, I'll put a little bit more pressure to get their eyes and mouths a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna sign it. And there's your super cute, super easy, and a little bit spooky ghost painting for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed painting this with me and I hope you're excited about using matte medium for blending. I think it's something that you're gonna be seeing in a lot of my videos coming up. You can also use matte medium not only for glazing and blending like this, but also for varnish after you've completed your painting. So it's really a very useful material. You can use it in many different ways. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend who you think would like it as well. If you haven't yet done so, please make sure that you subscribe so that you can paint with me every week and sometimes get a bonus video like this one. Make sure to check out the video description below where you'll find links to where you can find me all over the internet, including a link to our Art Monster Squad Facebook group where you can share your version of this painting with us. Also, there's a link to my Patreon page where you can contribute to help me continue to make videos for you and get some super cool rewards in the process. Thank you as always for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.